You're not really how I imagine an art critic would look. You can't tell me you never wanted to paint. <laughs> Seriously, what did you want to be when you were a kid? I was never a kid. I sort of really like that he's so fucking vain, isn't he? He's like really about <laughs> restoring his own name and he'll just, just go to any lengths to do it. And that's horrible, but that's as an, obviously as an actor, it's always really interesting to take on characters that are radical in that sense, because it allows you a lot of um, a room for maneuver. Ever heard of Joseph Cassidy? The art dealer? Mm-hmm, been invited to his estate. You got rich friends. If you could interview any living artist, who do you think it would be? At the edge of my property, there's a dilapidated little house. In this house, there's an artist. No critic has spoken to this guy in over 50 years. Jerome Devney. It's an honor, Mr. Devney. I think what's going on here is that he's super, super ambitious. He really wants his place in the art world. And now he's just lost this big job because he's, like, done something that he wasn't supposed to do. And now he's really trying to sort of get back into... And I, he sees this as a chance to do that. I think he wants to go and, and meet with this guy to sort of get back on track. But it just fucks him up even more. Um... Think of the splash it would make. See and describe his current work. No, no, no. I cannot abide such things. You could be running a major museum soon. And why would you do this for me? I'd value a deadly James. And I'd like you to procure one for me. The idea of shooting um, in Como, Lake Como, the fact that it's so steep, this lake is so dark and the sun really never gets there, I mean, helped the switch between you know, in the mood of the film. What is this about? Redemption, embezzlement and forgery. Kind of underhanded, don't you think? You know what we need to do. Most people. They're well, not what you'd expect. You know, don't you? They want. The truth. 